In Ukraine, pro-Russian activists rallied in the eastern city of Donetsk following the seizure by protesters of the regional state administration building. The protesters say they want independence from Ukraine's pro-Western authorities and have declared a sovereign people's republic. Ukraine's government has warned of a crackdown against what it denounced as separatists and criminals in the largely Russian-speaking East. In Pakistan, at least 25 people were killed and dozens others injured when a bomb exploded on the outskirts of the capital, Islamabad. The early morning explosion hit a fruit and vegetable market. Pakistani Taliban militants denied responsibility for the attack. Also in Pakistan, hundreds of government employees staged a work stoppage in the northwestern city of Peshawar. The protesters demanded that government officials halt plans to privatize government services. They also want improved pay. The protesters have threatened to launch a longer strike if the government doesn't respond to their demands. In Kabul, the Fair Election Foundation of Afghanistan said it had registered 11,000 complaints of fraud and irregularities during the April 5th presidential election. The organization, which describes itself as independent and nonpartisan, said it would send its report to the Independent Election Complaints Commission. The Complaints Commission says so far it's recorded more than 3,000 complaints of electoral violations and there may have been a significant level of fraud. In Armenia, activists in Yerevan demanded the government honor the recent constitutional court ruling that declared a controversial pension reform to be unconstitutional. When no finance ministry officials came out to meet them, some protesters staged a sit-in, blocking streets in the capital. Opponents say the pension reform, which mandated employee contributions to a fund, would not guarantee workers a decent retirement income. In Kyrgyzstan, supporters of some members of the country's security forces demonstrated in Bishkek. Members of the Alpha Special Forces have been facing trials in connection with the deaths of peaceful protesters in April 2010 during the unrest that led to the ouster of President Kermanbek Bakiev. Protesters say legal proceedings have been going on for too long and the rights of the accused officers are being violated. And that's the video roundup from Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty.